Yeah, we've got Anthony Mundine being very good to come in and speak to us this morning. We've spoken about boxing and about Danny Green and the fight that we'd all love to see. But what about the rugby league com- uh, comeback? Matty Johns, what could <laughs> Anthony Mundine do for the Newcastle Knights? <laughs> well, you know, quite seriously. Well, first, of all, I'll ask you, Chucky, are you serious? I'm fair to him. There's no joke. Well, I'll tell you what, he, well, if there's one thing we're lacking up here at the moment is leadership. I feel sorry for Brownie. Yeah. Because, you know, the other day I look and we've got there's some terrific young blokes coming through, young Brock Lamb and young mm. Jack Cogger. But I look at some of the senior players and say, come on, boys, where's the leadership? If Chalk went up there, right, uh, you know what? Even if he didn't play a game, even if he was just up there and he was preparing and then at the last minute said, you know, I'm going to fight Danny Green, I don't need to do this. The difference he'd make to those young blokes up there. So what I've done, Chalk, oh. I've taken the liberty. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> No, it's not the Australian jersey that you thought I stole. Like, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's a Newcastle oh, Knights wow. jersey, right? So <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm handing a Newcastle Knights jersey. I've taken the liberty of putting a number six on the back. Oh, yeah. That's very kind of so you. So I, look, oh, I, I, haven't, no. look I, must, I haven't ran it past Matthew Gidley, the CEO out there. Oh, yeah. oh you're jumping in, the gun here. I'm jumping the gun. I'm <laughs> saying to Anthony Mundine that, you know, if you're, gonna come back to, if you're going to come back to rugby league, Go to a club that really needs you. Yeah, of course. No one needs you more than the people of the Hunter. What, and, mate, they've always been good to you, Chuck. They mate, support your fights. I love I love Newcastle, man. Um, definitely, it could be a could be an option. So if Gidley <laughs> gives you a call, you'll take the call? Oh, definitely. Okay. Given the way the club's going, it might be, it might be reverse charge. <laughs> <laughs> what do you make of the current half situation? Uh, we're, we're talking off here about, you know, the depth of Queensland and the lack of depth in New South Wales. Yeah. You're, you're an ex-half um, who used to roam the field. Yeah. Uh, what do you make of the, the modern-day half in rugby league? Yeah, I just think they're, they're too like limited to sort of, you know, the, the one side, and and they're not sort of. I was I used to like to love the roam left, right, mm. down the middle, um, follow the pack. Um, you know, I just don't think it's, it's off the cuff. A lot of football is not off the cuff anymore. You know, it's always structured. Mm. Yeah. And got, you know, you got your own little avenues to yeah, run, and yeah. So you, it's not, you know, you need that instinct and that 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 fire that you, that is is you know unpredictable. You you talking about the hip before, so the hip's better. You feel the power coming back. What what's the thing that you need to do, Chuck, uh, if you want to make a comeback? Well, basically, just it's going to take a while to heal. It'll take another six to nine months to heal. Yep. But um, I'm just doing a lot of uh, rehab work and a lot of pool work, getting the strength back into it. Um, the mobility feels unbelievable. It feels pretty much back to normal now. So now, now it's just a matter of getting the strength back into it. Um, if you know, obviously, I want to, I want to try and you know, next year, I want to do, 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 do the fight game. If the green fight comes off and he, and he stops being a pussy and, and signs that contract, then we'll, we'll do that. But um, I want to try and finish off with three fights. That'll make my I'll have fifty wins because I'm wow. four, forty-seven and seven now. So. And you know, if Green don't don't want to fight, then I'll, I'll look to get them three fights and try and get, win another world title. And so, then... Chuck, Danny Green's on our show on Tuesday next week. If he says yes to a sixty forty purse, so you getting Dan, sixty, it's on. him getting forty, then we <laughs> are wrong. Has on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> like Donkey Kong. Okay, I'm <laughs> loving that. Okay, so we'll, we'll get we'll that push commitment. Sixty five thirty five at first. <laughs> we can screw him down even further. We're going to take the little five ourselves. Yeah, why not? Because we'll you're talk- going to put. You, did you buy that jersey yourself? No, <laughs> no. I actually stole it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Matt, I I'll, didn't be, I'll be like the Maradona of. Um, <laughs> Well, or footy, you know, well, he went to the lowest team, yeah, Napoli, and, and brought yes, them up. You yeah. know what I mean? I think I can do that with the, <laughs> well, the Knights. Can you come to the Roosters? All right. <laughs> well, what about a double header? You play the game. <laughs> yeah. or, no, or you, you fight Danny Green <laughs> at Stadium pre-game, and then you go off have a shower, put the gear, and then go and play <laughs> <laughs> something new. You're always breaking new ground. Why not, man? I mean, I, I'm about making the impossible possible. You know what I mean? And I'm, I'm one man that can do it. Anthony, thanks for coming in, mate. We very much appreciate yeah, it. Shock. Make sure you're listening on Tuesday. We might even get you on the phone. You can have a chat to Danny if you like. Cause mate. No, how close well, you are. Well, well, I, don't, I got out of bed for, for Mark and, and Maddie, and, you know, I'll probably be asleep Tuesday. <laughs>